Hi everyone, Mitcher Simmer here. So I'm on this evening, been going ahead and doing some more work. Unfortunately, we've hit one of the eight times when I thought I had recorded earlier and realized I, in fact, had not. So um, I'll go over what was done. But uh, I had cut away to transport some stuff to the dairy. So as you can see, I've kind of got a sloppy mess of butter on the trailer here, 9,000 liters. I don't think I'm going to get a whole heck of a lot. I'm guessing I'm going to get less than $9,000 off of it. I'm hoping it'll all sell because some of it is sideways, which, yeah, that was what I was worried about. Oh, boy. All right, let's see. So yeah, just kind of hoping things will do that and then I can shove them around a little bit. So we'll see what we can do here. Because I think if I shove those back, now the problem is I can't really tell because <laughs> I was too worried about it because yeah they had tipped over when I had put them onto the trailer and I was worried if they weren't there in a kind of a, a normal layout that they wouldn't sell properly and sadly that appears to be the case oh boy well, we'll see what we can do here. I guess let me get the one that is at least past the building over here, and then maybe that will go. All right. Now I'm not sure what I'm going to do with that one. I really don't want to drive my forklift all the way down here. That's a long, long way. So as I continue to debate if the dairy makes sense, because that was one of the discussions that I was having, is I just don't know between the amount we need to pay, because it's like $8,000 for a production. Um, um, per year for the license from FSN. Oh, this is great. So I'm just going to keep like rolling over it. All right. Maybe that'll be good enough. All right. We're going to hope because at least we've gotten past the corner of the building. So we'll slide this in and we'll see because this is basically a full pallet. So yeah, 941, because I know it was less than uh, less than a thousand per 1,000 liters. So when I had taken 6,000 butter and 6,000 cheese, I had gotten about 17,500. 9,000 liters of butter is obviously less than 9,000. So between the two, um, I've still got a little bit left at the dairy. I've got one butter and two cheese, but I'm going to probably not bring those over at this point. But what I wanted to do was the, the butter had kind of gotten full. But at this point, because the butter is so much less, and I've come up with a different solution for milk, so I can sell milk for darn near the same amount that I can butter. Um, I'm getting about $880, $890 a thousand of just straight milk selling it through FSN Customs versus $941 a thousand for butter. So yeah, it's a 50% premium, but I've got to sit there and wait for it to be made. I have to manually load it with my forklift onto all of this and so forth. It just doesn't make a lot of sense. 
So when we get there, I'll show you what I had initially done, and unfortunately you weren't able to see me place it. And since once again it's FSN and it's real-time servers, I, I can't go back and redo it. So you can see I've got that little white silo over there, and it's kind of tucked into an area by the trees so that it's kind of out of the way. But that is a milk extension that someone made me aware of in the comments in one of my videos, so thanks for that. That was definitely helpful. And that stores 320,000 liters, so between the barn and that extension, I can get basically uh, 500,000 liters of milk. And what that'll turn into then is... Um, all right, I'm also going to need to... So what I probably want to do is drop this thing on the ground somehow. So let me see. If I do this and then turn around, there we go. Because, yeah, if I don't have it on, the, on there right side up, obviously it doesn't sell. So that doesn't help. But if I can do that at 500,000, that means I can run bigger custom orders, which is obviously also better. Uh, but more importantly, I can then just sell things and I can let the cheese run at, at a normal pace, you know, whatever pace that is, and that at least is a premium for some milk, but I produce way more milk than the dairy can consume, as we showed in the time I was testing that out. So that's why I had turned on the butter, because I thought, well, Maybe I can chew through it faster, but as I really think through it now, it doesn't make any sense at all. I'm really not making enough to justify all the extra effort, because uh, I've been on here probably for an hour at this point to get basically two loads of 25,000, where I could have taken 50,000 liters of milk in one trailer load to customs and sold it for the same price as the butter basically would have been again a little bit less perhaps but it's worth it for the you know fifty dollars a liter or per thousand liters i should say um you know so it's not nothing it'd be whatever twenty five hundred dollars or something difference for a, a, a tanker load of milk, but, you know, to process the 50,000 liters would probably take six months or something, too, to produce all that butter, so it's like, there's just so many downsides to it, so I wasn't going to go ahead, but at this point, I will because at least I just get everything cleared off. Butter's basically empty. I think there's six liters of butter. I think I had 6,006 left inside when I was getting ready to do something with it. So anyway, we'll kind of park this over here. And we'll go grab this. So the other thing I had done is I had run out of hay for the cows. And so I filled that up, but I have only have about 8,000 liters. And I shouldn't say I filled it up. I ran two trailer loads over, so it's a little less than 60,000 per trailer load. So not quite 120,000 liters of hay thrown in there, but I only have about 18,000 liters of straw left. So the production had slowed down, well, had stopped entirely because I was out of hay. And uh, so it was not putting any more feed in. And at this point, then, I mean, we have 54,000, so it's 
it was chewing away at that, but now we'll be able to continue to throw more in there. No new fields have come up for auction. Uh, the other thing I had shared is I had d gotten field 47 done. I got about halfway done before I had to stop. There was another FM on who said sometimes they enjoy doing it, so I told them, well, I had to stop for a bit, but if they wanted to take over and finish, they could. Came back on later that day. The tractor was parked back over at the customs location, so I assume they got everything completed. So that silo extension for the milk was 89,000. I think it was actually 89,001 to place it, so there was obviously a little bit of landscaping that went with it, or, you know, um, terrain adjustment that it had to do to place it, but in essence, obviously, almost perfectly flat. And that is all I've been able, or all I've done, because that's really all I need to do. I'm just trying to get in a good spot so that when spring comes, I can very quickly just focus on getting things planted. But I likely have to go through to August or September before I can harvest. So there you go. You can see we almost got 4,800 for... 2,000 cheese, 1,000 butter, where we would have had less than 3,000 if it was the same amount of butter. So while the butter produces very quickly, because I can sell the milk for nearly the same, it just doesn't make any sense. And yes, that's a benefit of, again, FSN, is that I have that customs outlet, because I think otherwise the milk is, I think, like 600 on the server is kind of what I was seeing it if I sold directly. So then it would have been like a 50% markup to do butter, but uh, you know, almost $300, $350. I guess I can take a peek while we drive back. So yeah, 750 you can see. So actually not that much different, but it's still about 200 per thousand versus 50. But when it's around 50, it just doesn't make a lot of sense. And cheese is worth more, and yes, the cheese produces more slowly, but that's okay. So what I'm unsure of, however, is now if I look at the cow barn, yeah, because it was 180,000, so you can see the milk obviously has a much different capacity there. Right now, there's no reason to like increase the slurry capacity because I don't have anywhere to sell it. So I had shared last episode that the ticket I had put in was there, but then I had realized I had never actually explained what uh, the result was. So the ticket's been closed from the standpoint that they made the note and they presented it to the assets team for consideration. So I'm assuming that means it takes however long it takes, as opposed to the normal 72 hours or something, which is kind of what I would have expected, because they would have to make an edit to the map Put another cell point on it, release it, apply it to the servers that have it, and so forth. So the situation we've got here is, as you can see, uh, hey, you know, 117,000, but the straw's down to 17,500 now. Everything else is doing fine. I'm continuing to buy the silage from Mithras, who's another FM on the server here. So we've got that agreement that I'm paying him seasonally for him to deliver to the barn and the BGA. And then what that does is it kind of keeps things up here about 20,000 for my income, which is great because then 
I can make a good amount there. And, you know, over the year, that means I'll make, you know, $240,000 off the BGA. And it's the BGA wasn't inexpensive to put in, but at least at, at this pace, it pays for itself pretty much in four or five years. So it'll take a few years before I get there, because I think I've only had it in there for a couple years, but it certainly has not been running full, and so that was part of what the goal was, is if he has enough slurry or silage to keep me going, that's fine. I do want to check here, all right, because I had put in, gotten up to about 65,000 liters the other day on slurry, so it's used about 20,000 liters, so that one doesn't have to be filled as often. But I continue to wait for fields and those couple areas to get my yard going to come up for auction. Don't know how long that's going to take. Again, at least I'm happy I purchased field 26 so that I could do something in the interim and at least get this dairy operation moving and move away from just being... Uh, you know, a grass silage type operation, so that helps. So with that, I think that's all, well, that is all I have for today. So probably a pretty short episode, especially since we didn't have the work that was going on with transporting things and so forth, but at this point now I'll at least be able to let the cows produce some milk for a little while. Again, they do about 1,350 liters an hour. So as long as there's food and so forth, they should be in good shape, and hopefully because we've got 54,000 liters of food, maybe I can get myself running all the way until I get some more straw. But I'm not sure how that's going to go. But I'm going to wrap this up for today. And I will see you next time.